Hey Tubes, back down in the shop again. Uh, just going to fiddle a little bit with the transaxle case. Had somebody uh, comment to me that they were watching one of my videos and said uh, something to the effect of, oh, I wouldn't have done it that way, but you know, you can uh, add comments to my videos and I'll respond to them. And uh, you can like and subscribe. And that's always appreciated. I mean, I might even get a few uh, more than a couple of uh, subscribers, and that'd be cool. And that uh, I'm just uh, going to keep plugging away on different things here and uh, see what happens. And, uh, you know, you might find something that I do interesting. So, talk to you soon. Well, in the mess of a shop we got here, I'm trying to try and... I think I'll clean up this gasket mating surface and give this uh, case a final cleanup. Let's see what we can do with that. Tough stuff on there. Okay, we can set this aside. Okay, I'm going to have to stop my video here and take a bunch of pictures as I pull this apart. I'm going to have to take some notes, too. So, I'll do that. Hey, Tubes. Well, uh, kind of a disconcerting development here. I got the gasket mating surfaces for the cases cleaned up. Got the insides pretty well cleaned up, but in looking at this one... I noticed some rust right down in here on this needle bearing and I pulled the shaft here that goes in that spot and the one end doesn't look well both ends are kinda kinda shaky but this end is definitely discolored and a little more scored than the uh, other end and I'm going in here and looking at this where this goes in and uh, that's that's where this this runs that's the actual final drive for the differential gear right there and those needle bearings in there are uh, not turning and I'm thinking that that bearing might need to be replaced if I'm gonna use this thing and so either that or I gotta free them up somehow and get them rolling again we'll have to play with that a little bit and see what I can come up with so that's that well tubes I am now at the point where I have to replace the bearing these uh Needles are all rusted solid in there. That and so uh, I suspect what happened was uh, when I started taking this apart, there was some water that drained out, and I think what was happening was they were just the previous owner and myself were probably just topping off the oil as it leaked out of the axle, and the water collected down under. Well, actually, the bottom's over there under there and got up to the point where it was actually that's the lowest point if we look this way you can kind of see where the that would be the first spot where the water would actually get to uh, right right in right here 
and there's rust on that bearing right there. Everything else looks good though. And the it must have been sitting at an angle because this one looks good on this side. The mate to that. So we shall proceed. Well, slowly but surely getting it out. Getting pounding it out that way. So I was able to take my magnifying glass and do some uh, checking there on the piece of the bearing that I got out, and it's a Torrington M15164. So we'll have to see if I can source one of those. So generally we're looking at a ugly, crusty mess of a bearing there. It was all rusted up and the needles were all rusted in. And uh, we'll have to see if we can find another one. <laughs> 